hello guys here is shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen today i am going to show you how to make egg mayonnaise at home and using that mayonnaise i will show you how to make vegetable mayo sandwich they are very simple recipes and very delicious to eat of course so let's see the recipe for mayonnaise i have taken a mixer jar as you can see it's a small mixer jar and i am going to make one egg mayonnaise so i am breaking one egg into the jar according to this ratio you can change the quantity according to your requirements now for a great taste i am going to add some garlic cloves i have taken 5 cloves of garlic adding them and 6 to 7 black peppers adding them also half teaspoon of salt for a great taste 1 teaspoon full of sugar this quantity of sugar is enough for this recipe but i'll add a little more and now i'm taking 1 tablespoon of vinegar you may take 1 teaspoon of lemon juice instead and now we need oil i'm taking refined oil 1 cup of refined oil you may take olive oil or any kind of flavorless oil for this recipe so now i'm adding 1/3 cup of oil into the jar we'll add this 1 cup of oil in 3 times so i am adding 1/3 cup of oil this time and covering the jar and running the mixer we have to run the mixer for uh, 25 to 30 seconds only it has been dirty from the upper side of the cover so i am cleaning it and after that i will again run the mixer it's not yet done so i am running the mixer again and in total we have to run the mixer for 25 to 30 seconds only and now it's done and now we have to add the second part of oil 1/3 cup of oil again and again we have to run the mixer for 25 to 30 seconds now i'm cutting the video and uh, now it's done now we have to add the last part of oil again 1/3 cup of oil you may add the full quantity of oil but uh, i'm leaving this quantity i won't use this quantity of oil now we have to cover the mixer and run the mixer again for 25 to 30 seconds so let's do it and now our mayonnaise is ready i'm showing you you can see friends that the mayonnaise is very thick and perfect just like market mayonnaise and now we'll take it off into a bowl you may store and use this mayonnaise for 2 days without freeze and for a whole month in normal refrigerator now let's take it out into a bowl it's a very simple recipe to try friends and it's very delicious of course as you know so you don't need to buy mayonnaise from market anymore Here it is and now I'm going to make vegetable mayo sandwiches using this mayonnaise. So, let's do that. I have taken a mixing bowl and adding some finely chopped onion. Take your quantity according to your requirements. I'll make only two sandwiches in front of the camera and I'll make the rest behind the camera. Now, I'm adding some finely chopped cucumber. You may add any kind of veggies that you like to eat raw such as cabbage lettuce bell peppers etc as you like I am adding some uh, finely chopped tomatoes I have removed the seeds because it has a watery texture and now I am going to add some carrots finely chopped We'll add some green chilies finely chopped for a great taste some chopped fresh coriander
and now I am going to add some red chilli flakes I am adding half teaspoon of red chilli flakes you may add oregano too half teaspoon of chaat masala and now we will add mayonnaise yes the mayonnaise that I have just made add mayonnaise and mix the mixture you may take the quantity according to your wish your requirements there is no problem it actually depends on how creamy you want your sandwiches to be we will mix it very nicely I am adding some more mayonnaise and mixing the mixture and now it's done for sandwiches we need some breads I have taken two sliced breads as you can see to make the sandwiches more delicious here I have some tamarind chutney I made this sweet tamarind chutney for chaat and I have shared the recipe in the i button up you may check it now we have to spread the chutney all over the bread you may take uh, tomato sauce, green chutney or any kind of jelly, jam, anything. Now we will spread the chutney very nicely over the bread on only one side of course because the other side we have to fry. I will prepare the second bread in the same process. And now it's done. Now we will add the mixture, I mean the veg mayo mixture on the bread. We will spread the mixture evenly on the bread. Maintain your thickness of the mixture as you like. and now it's ready and now we have to cover the mixture with the other bread this way and now our first sandwich is ready to be fried in the same way we will prepare the second sandwich too and i'll make the rest of the sandwiches behind the camera and our second sandwich is also ready as you can see so let's go for frying them I have taken a frying pan and I am adding some cooking oil. You may take butter, ghee or any kind of cooking oil here, there is no problem. I am spreading the oil very nicely. When the pan is medium hot, we will place the sandwich on the pan this way. And we will fry the sandwich on medium heat. When the lower part of the sandwich is nicely crispy, we will flip it. Now I am flipping the sandwich as you can see and we will fry the other side also on medium heat until it is very nicely crispy. It is ready I am taking it off and in the same way we will fry the second sandwich too. And now it is also ready I am taking it off also. And here are our sandwiches. You may eat them like this or cut them into two pieces. I am cutting them into two pieces to show the middle portion of the sandwiches. It's a very quick and delicious recipe to try for your breakfast. So try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to let me know about your experience. And here is the middle portion of the sandwich. I am showing you. So friends must try this recipe and hit the like button if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hope to meet you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Take care.